Okay, welcome to the studio, Balash. You drew today with um, uh, Olga Giria, and I believe she sprang a surprise on you in the opening. Is that correct? Well, I think I tried to spring the, spring the first surprise, but it uh, backfired. Uh, I never played uh, the Queen's Gambit Accepted, but uh, I know that uh, she's a very good theoretician, so at all costs I wanted to avoid the preparation. But uh, it turned out that I went for a line that uh, she and her team analyzed uh, two years ago, and she remembered basically all the details up to, to one point. I think uh, she misplayed the move order uh, one move before the end because there would have been an amazing tactic. And uh, actually, I, I think I managed to avoid uh, some pitfalls and uh, found the best continuation. But had, he played, had she played the, the best move order, then it would have been really hard for me to, to avoid the further coming ones. Sounds fascinating. Let's have a look at the game. Okay. Okay, Balash, we've got a position here. White's just played queen to g4, threatening bishop h6. Tell us something about the position. Well, as I have mentioned already, I managed to step into some amazing uh, preparation by, by Olga. And of course, the obvious threat is uh, bishop h6, uh, threatening mate, and then I have to give up the exchange. So it makes sense to preempt, uh, preempt uh, the f8 square either for bishop f8 or then to push g6. Uh, first, I wanted to play rook fd8 because it, it feels there more uh, natural. Uh, but then, actually, it gives uh, white... Sorry, can you move back? Yeah. Thank you. So rook, rook d8, then it... Okay, it, why, why, why does it do it? No, okay. Okay, never mind. So... Maybe try that. Okay, okay, thank you. So it gives white time and let's say bishop h6, g6. And uh, either h4, I think, or white gets a lot of time to stabilize with rook, rook c1. Mm -hmm. And all these maneuvers with knight d7 uh, doesn't really work, because I think, let's say, there is knight e6. Oh, wow. And the queen c4 is not working, because rook is not on c8. If I were in time to take on c4, then, then that's fine. And if it takes, then, okay, I guess bishop g6, and next move, bishop h7, bishop f7, everything is... Is threatened so mm. rook d8 uh, it gives too much time and uh, even some h for a slow maneuver is possible and the other option i checked was like it's drastic measure to play f5 because if white takes then i'm more or less happy because okay i don't say i'm too happy but uh king h8 and white cannot take because some rook e8 rook e1 backhand mate and my bishop come to life and uh, okay i think i have some compensation still my king is quite uh, weak uh, yes. But uh, she mentioned that uh, what I was afraid of, that if f5, then just queen g3 and uh, the pawn on uh, e6 remains really weak, so I cannot really move my knight. There are, it's a picturesque uh, position, but uh, wise knights are more uh, yeah. threatening. So I played rook fc8. So yeah, yeah. And the point is that, okay, bishop a6 is natural. Sorry. Uh, bishop okay. h6. Bishop, yeah, okay. G if if uh, bishop f8, I would do it with a, uh, rook on d8 because now knight d6 is, I think, like game over oh, okay. or very close to that. Yeah. So I play g6 and this is mm -hmm. critical position because, okay, it makes sense. I think e, white either plays h4, but then I think I'm in time to do knight d7 because if knight d6 now, I can take on c4. And if h5, I, I think I, I can take because if I take on c4, then there is taking on g6, but I think I defend everything. After a g, a, g, I can take... Uh, everything and king h8 and there is no mate and actually wow. after rook g8 it is me who, who gets starts, mated. Yeah, yeah, I start attacking. So, okay, queen g3 uh, and instead rook c1 would have been uh, the best move order as told by, by Olga because the point is that if I play knight d7 now, uh, which, I, okay, there is bishop f6 computer move but uh, I wouldn't have found it, I think. Uh, sorry, it's Oh, uh, so, so queen g3. I, I, this one I, I still spotted because the point is that now the pawn is defended, knight d6 is threatening uh, because there is no knight e5 intermezzo. And if I take the knight, which I intended to do as, uh, as a last measure, then bishop b3 traps uh, my, my queen. And I was going to sacrifice it and then, okay, some, oh, wow. some bishop okay. f8, uh, bishop g7 trying to set up some sort of blockade, but I didn't have uh, high hopes with that. It was like... Uh, Drastic measure. So instead of uh, 
in uh, rook c1, knight d7. Oh, this, this position. Yeah, and then <laughs> queen g3, and then Olga told me that bishop f6 is only move. Everything else is wow. like plus one. I don't say I would have found it. And the point is that if white takes, like bishop g6, Therefore, uh, the knight is defended. That's why it's important that bishop g6 is included. But I can take this one. And if knight d6, it's important I take with this knight because if knight d6, I take on c1. Let's, let's uh, show. And bishop d5 and it's plus equal. Either white wins or, or I can make a draw. And, but then uh, she mixed up the move order with this queen g3. Queen g3, yeah. And uh, yeah, I was aware that if knight, knight d7, probably rook c1 it leads to the same. So I played b3 and with the point that if knight takes b4, then I gain a crucial tempo with... Uh, I'm sorry, okay, um, no I'm sorry, I Can I go on to show uh, one more variation? Yeah. Because sure, there is yeah. one more, another tactic. I, I, I found, but I'm not sure it, it works. So everything is hanging and somehow my pieces come to life and there is no mating threat. So let's say white starts taking pieces. If I take on a1, then knight d6 and my knight is trapped and rook is hanging. So I fought queen c4, rook c1, and my big idea was knight d4. And I think I win an exchange in all, in every move order, because my next move, okay, I can pre-move knight e2 in, in online games as well. And uh, okay, she takes knight e2, I take the queen, I take on c4, and even if she steps out, he, uh, she steps out knight e2 still, and this leads to the same, so. That was my plan. Yeah. So of course, she played bishop b1 instead mm -hmm. and offer draw. Uh, to be honest, I offer draw, I think, at move uh, 15 because as the Hungarian saying goes, never lose a game before without offering a draw. So I, I tried. And right. then she offered draw. I was 50 minutes uh, behind on clock. So, and still I, I didn't see uh, wh what to do for sure because right. uh, well, if she, if she doesn't offer draw, I, I don't uh, feel that something is critical, but on online engine still, uh, still shows that rook d8 is only move that holds uh, the position, everything else is plus one, and I was going to sacrifice the pawn with knight e4. Right. If yeah. you can go on for one more minute. <laughs> sorry, yeah. where, where do I go to? The bishop b1, final position. Yeah. Oh, sorry, there, yeah. No problem. That. Yeah, so there is knight before tactic, but probably, okay, it doesn't <coughs> work because of knight d6. So I, I tried to play knight, if I was most probably going to play this, queen c4. And uh, the point is that if rook c1, I can take on a4. With the pawn on b4, I'm forced to play queen e6, uh, sorry, uh, queen a2. And uh, with the queen on e2, there would be some knight e6 and bishop g6 tactics, as always. But now I'm in contact with the bishop, so because of the extra, and white cannot take. So, uh, knight e4, so instead she should take on uh, b3, uh, instead of rook c1. Instead of... Uh, uh, this one, yeah. For some reason, <laughs> down here, it doesn't like... To <laughs> can we Come go on, by really. the arrows? Okay, so yeah, you can do, yeah. we, we agreed that after queen takes b3, uh, I either take or play rook b8 first and have some positional compensation based on the weaknesses on the queen side. I don't know what the engine uh, will show because we haven't checked this one. I would have been reasonably happy to get this instead of the queen, uh, queen sacrifice because I feel that I have good uh, drawing chances, but okay. it is what it is. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.